What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have something really exciting to share with you today. This is my personal car. This is the 2022 GMC Yukon AT4. Let's get into it. One of the best features for me is that this thing is so big. I'm the size of an NBA player. I am 6'8". This thing is perfect for me. It is so big. It's actually, I think I got just a couple inches on it, but this is such a workhorse for me. I love how big it is. It's fun to drive. I fit perfect in this. All right, so with the AT4 package, we have the dark chrome here. We got the skid plate on the bottom and we got the red toe hooks just in case you get stuck. It adds such an aggressive look to it. I love the red toe hooks. I love the dark chrome. Uh, I love the front grille. Everything looks pretty manly in my opinion. One thing I like about this better than the Denali is that the Denali comes with a lot of chrome on it. And obviously you could wrap it, you could delete it all. But coming from factory, this dark chrome metallic is really, really cool. These come with the 20 inch multi-spoke wheels, which I absolutely love. They come in black. I love the big tires on it. It's perfect for a road trip, perfect for off-roading. I've actually taken this to the sand dunes. Uh Uh, this is so fun. Such a great feature on this 2022 Yukon. Love the Goodyear tires. Love the 20 inch multi-spoke wheels. It's a great addition. All right, around the back, we have the quad tip exhaust. It is a 6.2 liter V8. This is the cat back exhaust, which I'm super excited about. This all came factory. I have done nothing to this car yet. It sounds so great when you start it up. The cold start on this is so good. Having the 6.2 liter with the cat back exhaust, it is definitely a manly car. It's got the rumble to it, which I absolutely love. I think this was actually my selling point was the cat back exhaust. Love it. Uh, sounds so good. Wait till you hear it start up. Okay, so I have a three-year-old Vishla. I have a two-year-old son. I have a wife. We're expecting my first daughter. Convenience is all I'm about. So the more convenient it is for me, the better it is. Let me show you the back of this car and why it's so convenient for me. So there's a button to lift this glass. So I don't actually have to pull the trunk all the way up. I can actually just lift the glass. Just like that. So now I'm actually inside my car. I could load groceries. I can load a baby bag. I could put, I could hit my head on it. <laughs> It's great to just throw something in, like my coat. I can just put this in here, shut that, and away we go. However, if I want to open the trunk, just this switch here. I've got my really cool Paw Patrol umbrella for my son. I got my coat back here. There's so much space in here. I let my dog go back here. I have all the groceries. We load up for long family road trips. There's literally no complaints about the size of this car at all. I love it. Like I said, convenience is everything for me. And GMC makes it so nice. All I have to do is press this left button and the seat behind me goes all the way down flat. Press this right button, seat behind me goes all the way down flat. <laughs> there you go. And now I have all of this room Look at this, I have so much room back here. Again, my dog will go back here. All the groceries, all the luggage, everything we need is in the back of here. I could even put this one down too, but I have a car seat in here. Look at this. This is so nice. Love it. And then with the reverse of this, all I have to do is push the button here and it goes up. I can push this one too. And this will go up as well. Just slip this headrest back up. Now I've got my third row seating all set to go. Let's close this up and then I'm gonna show you the inside of the car now. Again, this is my workhorse. This is my daily driving. I think I got about 30,000 miles already on this. So it stays dirty. I clean it all the time, but there's no help. All right, now we are inside the car. This, again, is so spacious for me. Baby seat right here. We're actually gonna have another baby seat coming soon. That's gonna go right behind me. I put the dog back there too, or 
whenever we go out to dinner or it's a group activity, everybody just loads up in my car because we have the three row seating. It's perfect. This is what we take everywhere. So let's start it up. So we do have the push to start here, which is great. All the gear shifting is here. So we got the park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. It's just a flip of the switch. Once I'm in reverse, we have the 360 camera. If I want just the trailer, I press that and then I press this. Now I have a straight line. However, if I'm just regular parking, now I've got both these lines with the center line cut out. It's a lot easier to, to parallel park or to back into a spot. On this side, there is a ton of buttons. I actually don't use 99% of them, but the ones I do use is this. This is the 360 camera. This just pops up that display really quick for you. So that one, um, while I'm parking, I'll hit this. That way I don't hit another car. This one will put power to your outlets for the three prong outlets. This will put the power to it or take it away. We have lane assist here, which is great. Parking assist here, which is kind of always turned on. We do have the HUD. So we have the heads up display. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it switching up there on the screen. Uh, I like the simple one. That one's best for me. We have a bunch of different light settings here. Um, obviously auto, brights. This feature right here, which is cool, if I press that, it's like an additional light without it being too bright. So it's really cool for uh, nighttime driving. We've got your trailer assist here. You can mess with the gain. I don't really know what that means, but that's what you can do. On the steering wheel, you got your cruise control settings, heated steering wheel, which gets really hot. Um, your volume control here. There also is a feature, hey Google, and then it pops up. Take me to the nearest restaurant. Okay, Taco Bell, here we go. <laughs> Taco Bell it is, baby, let's go. So I got two cup holders here. I got two cup holders here. Cup holders on either side of the door. It's perfect for every single one of my wife's water bottles. It's perfect for all my energy drinks and coffees. Uh, it's got plenty of space for everything we need. Now to the only thing that I absolutely hate about this car this there's no way to lock it and if there is please let me know in the comments because i have no idea this just slides so if you put your hand here and you move it you just move your arm it's so annoying it's cool that it slides but it should be able to lock we have storage in here don't mind me we have uh lots of stuff in there and then there's a secret compartment down here this is where I hold, this is what I hold in my secret compartment, fruit and veggie bites. <laughs> I do have the power sunroof here. Uh, let's press, there we go. And it goes pretty much all the way back. Well, at least back to the second row. So it floods the whole cabin with light, which is super dope. If you know anything about Ohio, it can be really cloudy, really cold, really sunny, really rainy all in the same day. So seasonal depression here is crazy. So I'm a big light guy. I'm gonna take you around back, show you the engine revs. Again, this is one of my favorite features. It's nothing crazy like a Lamborghini or anything like that. But again, for a full size family vehicle, this is a workhorse, this is a beast. I love the horsepower. I love the sound of the engine. Again, 6.2 liter V8 engine, catback exhaust. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of my personal car. This is the 2022 GMC Yukon AT4. I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much. Peace.